Good evening. I was sent some pictures this morning on Facebook and elsewhere showing me disturbances that have taken place, quite serious disturbances that have taken place in Southall in West London last night. I looked at it and thought, can this actually be true? And I say that because it wasn't being reported by British media organisations. Was this something perhaps that happened a few years ago? Had I missed it? But no, absolutely not. Last night was Eid, where people celebrate the end of the fast of Ramadan. And of course, Southall has always had a very, very high percentage of people who originate from South Asia. Well, I'm afraid it was all true. Have a look at these very disturbing scenes from the streets of London last night. Well, as you can see, very, very large numbers of people gathered and suddenly things start to fly. Bricks, bottles, pieces of wood. Uh, the police not dressed at this stage in riot gear, though later on in the evening they were dressed in riot gear. Clearly quite a dangerous situation. Only, as I understand it, one arrest made. But it does, these pictures do show something about what is going on in our country. The complete breakdown of law and order on London streets. And what's more, uh, cultures, non-British cultures, who just take over our streets on a regular basis. The mystery is, that why is no other broadcast organisation talking about this story. I think you know the answer. We went to Ealing Police and we asked them for a statement, a very lengthy statement, but perhaps the key part of it is, and this comes from Sean Wilson, the Chief Superintendent, as officers attempted to speak to these people about their safety, they were surrounded by a crowd, again, many of whom were not from Southall, before items including bottles were thrown toward them. Well, if they weren't from Southall, whether they'd come from Richmond or quite where they come from, I simply don't know. I find that statement by the police actually rather difficult to believe. But maybe, maybe the reason it's not making national news is because this sort of thing is now expected. This sort of thing has now become commonplace. Such is the breakdown of law and order. Maybe it's that and not trying to hide the truth from the public.